will not laugh. You will not cry. You will learn by the numbers. I will teach you. All right, recruits, gather around. It's time for another school circle with Sergeant Gibby. Today's lesson is going to be on ordnance weapons. And due to the nature of ordnance weapons, I'm going to break this lesson up into multiple videos because it's going to be resolved differently depending on the target that you're firing at, whether it's a vehicle or infantry. So this video is going to focus specifically on the ordnance table itself. There are multiple different types of ordnance weapons in the game. You have support weapons like this boy's anti-tank rifle. You have weapon teams like this German 75 mm gun and you have vehicles like this German Panzer III. We're going to use the German Panzer III as our example and it's going to attempt to take a shot at Major Hawkins over here. Let's look at the German Panzer III's ordnance table. You'll see that there are nine different numbers on the uh, table itself. The top row of numbers, 5, 9, and 18, are its range. The middle row of numbers, 7, 6, and 5, are its to hit roll. And the bottom row of numbers, 3, 2, and 1, are its penetration values, which will be used when firing at vehicles. Now, in our example, the Panzer III wants to fire at Major Hawkins. So we're going to count the hexes in between the two to determine what column we're going to use. One, two, three, four, five hexes away, which means we can use the first column because the target is equal to or under five hexes away. If Major Hawkins were one hex farther away, we would have to use the middle column of nine, six, and two because it's outside of the five range. Basically, the closer the target, the easier it's going to be to hit and the more penetration value you're going to have. So at this range of six, the German Panzer III would require a uh, 2D6 roll of six or under to hit Major Hawkins. <clears throat> In this hex, he would require a roll of seven or under on a 2D6 roll to hit him. However, if we move Major Hawkins one hex farther to the north, he's still five hexes away, but there's some modifiers affecting it. There's a little bit of degrading terrain between them, which will add a plus one to the roll, plus you add in any target modifiers of the hex that the target is in. This light constructed building will add plus three to the roll, effectively meaning that still at a range of five, the Panzer III would need to roll a three or under to hit Major Hawkins. Instead of the seven or under, he would need while Major Haw uh, Hawkins is in a clearing. Always keep in mind that a natural roll of two or under is always a hit, and a natural roll of 12, or, uh, of 12 is always a miss. That concludes this lesson. Dismissed.